two introverts roaming in the world, in the world of extroverts. They don't get us, but maybe they get a little. Tuo tänne päin. Onks noin kylmä? Ah, helvetin kylmä. Hillivirta. I wish we could go down the swim, but there's no access really. The water is so green, turquoise. Love it. What our eyes saw on the side of the road. I can reverse like two kilometers if needed. Larry Seva! Fresh mountain water! Lovely! The taste of this mountain water is so good, so we are going to fill our tanks. No chlorine, no additive, just pure water. Yeah, we love it also. Always when we, when we see, we actually, if we don't stop there, we always regret it. So we fill our tanks always from the mountain water. We prefer this than any other aqua potable. So places where somebody else is uh, taking care of that it's potable. Yeah, we have been filling up from these hundreds of times to our tank we have never ever got bad water always drinkable water really good tasting water somebody told me that there's gonna be some biofilm on the tank if you you feel from these no we haven't had any problems anywhere in the world we don't have any silver nets that people use on their tanks to prevent the biofilm no we just uh, enjoy these places, fill the tank and sanitize and use citric acid two times a year to our tank and we don't have any problems. Yeah, this is time of joy for having great tasting water. Yeah, also if you take chloride water to a tank, it takes approximately one and a half days for all the chlorine or whatever they use, depends on the country to gas out. So in that sense also the tank water is good because after one and a half days <laughs> there ain't chlorine or other additives anymore there. Yeah. Small things.
giving enjoyment to your life. Mountain water. <laughs> Vinegar. 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 It's stupid because any other word in English would be winger or winger. But now it's vinegar, like in Finnish. <laughs> we used vinegar to uh, clean the plastic canister that we use always when we are filling the tank, where there is no possibility of using hose. Someone would actually say that we could buy those uh, plastic things with that you can put on that tap over there to fill it with the uh, hose, but come on. 60 liters, four times with that canister. You have to fill the tank and that's it. Making food together always. <laughs> yeah. And making everything together. We live in a symbios. <laughs> That's true. We pulled our van next to these cute Flintstone rock picnic benches, but I think we will eat in our van because the seats are more comfy here. No, no, no. Let's go there. I want a Flintstone chair. Okay, we will go eat outside then. <laughs> yeah, but I agree. Our seats are really comfy, so. You see us a lot doing food and eating food inside. Yeah. Then we go outside for walks. That's true. And when you have chopped everything here and put it on the table, it's kind of drag to put them outside. And usually there's some kind of uh, bee nest or lot of bugs or something, and they will invade your whole lunch experience. So. We are making tortillas, our favorite food. Really good food. We can have our own feelings and we ha can ha share the rest of the feelings. That's true. So I can make like sausage, like I'm doing this time. And this is our actually driving day. We have drove now 40 kilometers and that's a lot for us. <laughs> but yeah, we drove to the national park basically to the end of the national park. It ends 10 kilometers that way. We're gonna continue from there towards Zaragoza, which is the really pu pu beautiful, but really huge. <laughs> not beautiful. How can you say that if you have not been there? Really huge <laughs> city. We're gonna go there for shopping because next two or three months we will be spending time on Pyrenees. Into the woods! Total of free, total out of the civilization. That's our plan. We don't know how it works. Usually yeah. our plans do not work exactly how we have planned, but that's life. Yes, because this is the last day on this national park when it's below 30 degrees. Yeah, we no. want to escape the heat. Yes, so from tomorrow until two weeks from here, it's 32 to 36. Too much. Too much. We don't like it. Nope. So, solution is use your car and drive away. To the mountains and beyond. Yes. Let's uh, end this. I need a spoon. Yes. Let's eat and then continue the road. Road trip Friday. <laughs> Forever road trip. Oh. Yo. Muy bien. Really good. Really good food. We stopped here to take a pulla for walk and little pee break and lunch break for us humans from the driving. We are in a national park of the Cuenca and there's these weird rock houses. 
this rest area. Looks really beautiful. Blue skies and green forest. Amazing. Yeah. Absolutely love it here because the weather is a little bit chillier here. So not that hot. There might be some food left over, so broken glass or something. So I usually just search this place before I let Bulla to run. This tree is so huge. Too bad people will carve the initials and letters there. Okay, dark side. Let's go see the other buildings too. This place is so weird. They have a lot of money to build this, but they don't really upkeep this. I don't know what's up with that. Did they got short of the money or something? Or do people just come here to trash the place? It's so sad to see. I need to carry Bulla because there's so much shattered glass. So no accidents will happen. Nice bar or cafe or whatever there, but not in use. A left to Russian. It's such a shame that some people want to just destroy everything. And here's another building. Well, actually kind of rubbled. And somebody has tried to burn this lock. Water here in uh, Spain always comes from inside of the rock face. It's really interesting. And unlucky for us, no pasar in here. So no swimming on this spring water. Luckily, we are going to one lake after this. Uh, we have something around 15 kilometers of driving through this beautiful countryside. Lots of forest, lots of nature and yeah, lush places just like this. And also for our future maybe plot or house in Spain or anything if we ever take that leap we have so many things that we want from it. We want to have a spring either just beside the house or around the corner. Because then you can get really tasty water all year round. Ah, it will be really far, hard to find any spots or houses or plots in Spain because we are so demanding. Yeah, and our budget is tiny. <laughs> Plus that. But it took us five years or six years to find our plot in Finland. Yeah. We got it on our budget, really cheap. Uh, we got the really crystal, crystal clear lake. No neighbors. No neighbors. Beautiful forest around us. Middle of the wilderness. And we had also just a short road to the main road. Yeah. So everything ticked. We bought it when we saw it first time. But it was a jackpot to find that yeah. plot in Finland. And I don't even now know how it was so cheap. Yeah. It remains mystery, but always keep your daydreams and don't lower your expectations because you will find the gems you want. In the right price. Yeah, yeah. when you are patient enough. 
Uh, we had really high standards of the our pot that we mm -hmm. wanted. We had really high standards, and the price range was something around two hundred thousand euros. And we found it for sixteen thousand euros. <laughs> so, so miracles happen. Miracles happen. Not often, but when they do, grab it. No need for sunglasses in this dark tunnel. This nice little nature path. Follow it the river, so this is nice break from the driving. They have made wooden walking paths and there's a tiny cascades so of waterfalls and beautiful river going by and this nice cave. So now it's great to start driving again. And one note that we actually made here and also in other hiking paths we have been. Here in Spain all the picnic tables are on a parking lot. All the people can actually eat in the same place. When in Finland actually the picnic tables are scattered around the path. So for example in a random place like this could be one picnic table. So everyone has their own private picnic table. <laughs> Not eating together like family. <laughs> nope. So we are not the only ones in Finland who likes to do things by themselves, not with others. <laughs> so 13 degrees downhill and seems like our van needs to go with the first gear if we want to get down without overheating the brakes. Not really a fast way to go down 30 km per hour, but the safest. Yeah, Alto Tayo, the canyon without water. We think canyons without water is just a dry ditch. So we go see canyons in Norway where there is water. Damn, this is steep. Yeah, this is a lake. Now it's a pretty full lake, even if this spring has been really dry. So it's a good sign. They have still water left. They use this water to uh, water those uh, fields around the Zaragoza area. So the level of the lake differs a lot. Uh, I don't know how much in depth. But you can walk in uh, some months, like 50 meters to, or 100 meters that way. Yeah. It's stupid hot here. Plus 45 on the sun. The wind is not cooling at all, it's basically hot wind. This is too much. I hope in Pyrenees there's a little bit colder weather. But yeah, get in the lake. There is a picnic area over there and we are staying overnight there. They are saying that on the restaurant park lot you cannot camp and over there you can. Yeah, they will tell you in Spain if they don't want you to do something with the fences, with the gates or with the signs. This is not cold, this is actually quite warm water. 
according to the Spanish guy, it's just perfecto. <laughs> so, but it's cooling down us. That's the most important thing. Ah. Yes, this will be a good place to spend the night because we can go swimming many times a day, then go back to the van. The van is shaded most of the day, so it's a good place to park. Yeah. Ah. This feels so good. The water here is incredible. Blue tint always in the Spain. I think the weather is plus 25 for something because it's not cold at all. A little bit of refreshment. It's always best to find a, some kind of river or lake when it's hot because you cannot just be here inside of the world unless you have a pool in your mature home that would be cool holy shit the sun is so powerful <laughs> yeah, it's strange that uh, the spanish people that don't come here to swim they have the communal pools yes but in the rivers or lakes you never see spanish people swimming so i don't know if this is like a dirty way of swimming <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you want to connect with the nature. <laughs> with your flip-flops. With my flip-flops. <laughs> Not connecting too much. Yeah. Having some distance. <laughs> Could you flip-flops? <laughs> because this is a uh, uh, pesca intensiva. Yeah. So there's a lot of fishermen, so, so there might be hooks in the waters. That's very true. And when the water is cold, you cannot even feel the hook penetrating your skin. So it's kind of scary. We made a quick stop, Saragossa city, and we went there for IKEA to get our favorite Swedish products. So these meatballs, plant balls. Yeah, plant-based meatballs. And ready-made smash potato. And lingonberry uh, sauce. Yes. Jam. So th this is our like Nordic food that we love. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, some um, whatever meat there is, usually elk, and then lingonberry jam. That's really good. And we don't have to prepare anything because they are already made everything. So really fast food. And how can these balls look like exactly like meatballs? It's so weird. We also bought all the uh vegetable balls, yeah. which are better than those uh, fake meat balls. Yeah, that's true. So both of them usually we buy only the vegetables, but these are good. They are like snack fast food for now as because we are making everything red ready made or half ready made and these <laughs> look like cheesy puffs smashed potato capsules you just heat them in a pan and ikea beer i approve <laughs> this was given a really low score on untapped and other apps that i use for beers but i like it it's a uh, very summery. Very summery. And great taste, clear taste. Mm, maybe I have just drank too much German pills because German pills is not that good. But this is light and crispy. Yeah. And because it's a hot day, we don't want to cook everything from the start. So this is just heating the ready-made meal. We are so hungry. This is our supper here. It's a little bit colder because the sun is setting, which is good. We but don't... it's incredible moist here. 
it's uh, it might be actually raining today. Yeah. I'm still really scared about our future. Yeah. Uh, was this uh, really a Huge. bad decision to stay here? Yeah, we kind of feel we made a really bad decision <laughs> and it was a mistake staying in Spain during the summer. But if it gets too hot then we go to northern Spain to Atlantic Ocean to, or to France to Atlantic Ocean where the weathers are more mild. Yeah. So we have always option here and we don't have to quit. <laughs> yeah. Benefits of living on the road and when you have a tires underneath your house. Yes. But this is really luxurious thing for us because we don't go outside to eat. So we have this uh, team night and we have missed Scandinavian no tasties. Yes. We have some other Scandinavian tasties also from Ikea. Hmm? Herring, mm. gift flowers, those are cinnamon buns, small ones. Gonna save them for the next hike. Mm. Mm. So there was just those tastes that I wanted. Yeah, but I think Yoni makes better mashed potato than this. That's true. But don't tell Ikea that. We need some butter here. Yeah, maybe this is healthier. <laughs> Yeah, I use a lot of uh, oat milk and butter. More the merrier. This cheap we are. We bought cutting boards and we cut them half. So we can get one cutting board with 50 cents. There were no smaller cutting boards, plastic ones in IKEA. So I bought this bigger ones and just cutting them to half. Now, one euro cutting port is 50 cent cutting port. Bamboo and wooden things too much work to maintain. These lads good for six, eight, nine months maybe. And then we can get a new one. And also they don't take any space. Sarah has a wooden cutting board, and I'm amazed that still it's still in use. Yeah, I will use it, but Joni wants to use this when he cuts onions, and it's totally forbidden thing to do because then the whole block will smell like onions, and everything you cut here will smell like onions. So our solution is. I have a wooden one and Yoni has the plastic thingies. Sarah has lots of restrictions. Basically you cannot cut anything on that board. Maybe a yes, you can. cucumber. No. If it's not uh, <laughs> cold. No, I don't. Yoni is totally lying. I just don't let onions to be cut here or raw meat or something because it's hygienic reasons. Don't trust Yoni. <laughs> Yoni can use his stupid plastic things. If you're a couple and you have an argument, which tool or something to use, buy two of them and use your own. Problem solved. On this lake there's a yacht lock just beside us. Oh, not beside us, but quite far away there. Uh, I went there in a bar because we wanted to have a couple of drinks. We uh want to drink the wine in here. And well, I got two beers and a wine, vegan wine, oh. which is uh, dry as we want. And the uh, guy asked, like, uh, are you far away from the restaurant? I know Spain. I know Spain. And do you need ice? Si, por favor. Si, por favor. So I walked from the yacht club my back full of ice and everything is ice cold <laughs> I love Spanish people like what the hell they think everything so we have been actually using uh, uh, Duolingo for a while I'm too embarrassed to actually talk Spanish because it's just words after words <laughs> so let's wait for six months for that.
But yeah, I can understand words in Spanish, so it helps a lot. Because Spanish uh, language itself is really simple. So it's basically a words after words after words. When you know the words, you know what people are talking about. And we are so excited about these things because it's illegal. Is it nowadays illegal? I don't think so. Well, when we were in uh, Finland. Well, basically in Finland, yeah. I think nowadays you can actually buy wine from the restaurants in Helsinki. Or in Finland. Because... The law correct has us in the comments if it's... Uh, yeah. Because uh, back in the days you couldn't actually buy anything out of the uh, bar. Yeah. Nothing. Which is Sip uh, niente nada. So you need to always drink there. Which we don't like it. <laughs> we want to drink our beers and wines in our home. So things like this is really exciting to us because it's so abnormal that you can actually... Like, this is not opened. I think in Finland they have to open the bottle, sell yeah. it. We love different cultures. <laughs> <laughs> When you become a nomad who lives full time on the road, you kind of start to hate the weekends. Because do you know what happens then? Camper vans. Even more camper vans. Yeah. Luckily, people who like to wild camp, they are always very silent. So there's never like party groups like you can find from the paid campsite. So we are really happy about that. So people who come to nature, they truly love nature and silent and isolation. So no kids screaming or drunk people. Yeah. Yesterday was a really bad electrical storm and really heavy winds. So we went to bed early and just watched the movie. And when we woke up, we woke up to this all these vans surrounding us. Yeah. Yoni is still asleep, so I will be. I'm boiling us a coffee. 